Today we're going to be playing more Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition. That, that title, that fucking title. Oh my god. It, it's fucking insane. But, that is what we're doing and uh, yeah. Hopefully my chat box is working. Which I don't... Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I have to change that. Hold on one sec. Because, you know, um... I'm prepared. But at, at, at least we have some m m music. Yeah. How do I do this? Well then. How do I change the chat? No. I don't want to go to performance mode, damn it. Need to change the damn properties. There we go. I, yeah. Yeah. 
now the things will stay. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> let's get back into Dragon Quest XI. I'm sorry about that. I've never prepared for anything. Ever. Ever, ever. Ever. But anyway, I think I'm over-prepared for this game, though, because I know I leveled up quite a bit. And I think I'm level 11 or 12? That, that is loud as fuck. Let me turn that down because the ears, the ears hurt. Uh, yeah, this, this, this one, right? Yeah, that one, that one would be good. Ah, here's what happened so far. Now, having done what Chalky told him in, to in his vision, of the cobblestone of old, Jay uncovers a buried box inside which are letters from his granddad and his real mother, Queen Eleanor of Dundrizel. I think that's how you pronounce it. Along with an artifact called the Keystone, which can open something called the Door of Departure. And as if that wasn't excitement enough, he and Eric have also got hold of the Red Orb at long last. In search of answers as to why the Luminary has been branded a harbinger of calamity, the duo decide to head for the Door of Departure. As the door draws near, <clears throat> so does Hendrik, at the head of a horde of Hilidorian soldiers, the hooves of Hendrik's charger tear into the turf as he and his men gallop toward the two friends. I swear, I must sound like a child learning to fucking read. I'm horrible at this shit. Just as hope seems all but lost, the door of departure reacts to the keystone, granting passage to the pair before closing behind them and barring the way for Hendrik. On the other side of the door, Jay and Eric look around to find themselves in an almost featureless wilderness. Okay. Here we go. So in the last episode, we learned how to use the fun size forge. We made some armor. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, we're at this dude. I did come out here to try to level up, but it's fruitless because everything just kind of d either doesn't react to me or it's it doesn't give enough XP to do anything so we're just gonna carry on with the uh, the story for now and see what we come come to I did learn that if you die, like, half your gold is lost, which kind of sucks. So that's why the bank system is in the game. Other than that, I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <clears throat> Come on. <clears throat> and I don't know what the hell they are, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to use it in a fun size board. Guessing I have to go here. Hurry, traveler. Does the road not tire you? Do your bones not ache? Well, do not despair. Let the sauna cure your ills. Sweaty oasis. And look, look, look. It's a, it's a deer. So pretty. Apparently, we're going to a sauna. I don't know, if it's a place where we could heal, that'd be cool. Oh, it's a pretty place. Very Japanese inspired. Go figure, it, it is a JRPG after all, so... Oh, and if my stream dies, it's because... Civilization at last. And I think it's safe to say we're not being followed anymore. For now, at least. If my if my stream dies abruptly, I do apologize. It's because the power um, went out. 
There's, there's like a horrible thunderstorm going on outside right now. Much needed rain. It is fucking balls hot here in Texas. So, yeah. <laughs> Two travelers come. Their timing is auspicious as the day's new dawn. Woohoo! My bathhouse awaits. Savor its steamy embrace as frogs do spring rain. Rejoice, honored guests, for to mark this happy day, you may sweat for free. Uh, I, I think that's what we do regardless. Um, we're kind of busy to be sweating. Thanks. Appreciate the offer, though. Too busy to bathe? Too busy to wash away the scent of the road? Huh? Okay, maybe I'm not at my freshest. Fine, I'll visit your bathhouse if it means that much to you. Might as well go sweat off the journey while we have the chance. I'll see you in there, okay? Okay. The winds bring a guest. Joyfully, I shall guide him to where bliss awaits. I don't like how nice they're being. <laughs> Anybody that be overly nice in these type of games usually turn out to be some type of fucking villain. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Beneath Mount Huji like snowstorms on summer days, visitors are rare. Your blue-haired comrade see steams in the stairtop sauna, a peak in the mist. Alright. Let's go check all the houses we can uh, for books. I would like to learn some new recipes. And break pots. Because, you know, that's, that's what we do here. And, of course, steal their valuables. Like this thread here. No books in that house. Oh, we have a quest. We have a little quest. Ah, book! Yes! Book called Diary of the Tetsu of the Smith. Jay takes it from the shelf, and that's closer work. Part 1. A dream is born. My name is Tetsu. I am 48 years old. I am a blacksmith. This morning, I sat an amazing coin. I spied wondrous workshop, workmanship. I made <clears throat> inquiries, spent all day, and learned its name. The Mini Metal. I must leave Hoto and find the coin's creator. Learn how it was made. Do not fear, mother. I shall return a hero. A smith without peer. I didn't learn shit from there, so we're gonna steal something from there for fucking... Oh, yeah, bad. We're gonna steal their money. Why the fuck not? We'll go see about that thing in a moment. I wanna check over here first. I don't think I need to put anything in the bank yet. Plus, I, I, I am over-leveling, so I don't think I'm going to have too much of an issue, as long as I keep my characters healed, of course. But, we'll see about what's in these rooms. Nothing over there. Hopefully, we could find, like, an armor recipe or a weapon recipe. Oh! Nothing there. Got some plain clothes. We could sell those batches. Not Why? I could jump that high. Why can't I just jump down? Like, seriously. The fuck? Alright. What? Um. Okay. I'm guessing it's nighttime now. Uh, that face. That was the first time I seen that happen. What do you have on offer, sir? Medical herbs and mirror wings and antidotal herbs. Okay. 
We have 26 of those, so we'll make it even. There we go. Okay. I gave him to the hero. Maybe we should rest till morning. Come on. Thank you. Then we'll go ahead and see what that quest is and uh, see if we can do it. Unless there's another house. There is. There's. There's a couple quests here. Oh god. Let me go pick the one up that's over here. There we go. <clears throat> the sweat on one's brow, the hammer on hot iron, the life of a smith. Art of our fathers, a village built in this trade, a proud tradition. We need iron ore, the mountains abound in it. An endless supply, help us to find it and gather the ore we need. We so need. A reward awaits. I should collect a few lumps of Do I have it? Your words glow like gems. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Thank you. I guess I do not have. Let me see the map. Is there any. Any way for anything? There's another store here. Uh, okay. Let's see what she has for sale. A little more than the other. Slime earrings. Huh, okay. Okay. Eric would like them, thank you. Uh, that's about it at that shop. Let's, uh, ow. I don't wanna. What well, doesn't matter? Let me finish checking out over here. And then we'll go over to that other quest, accept that, and then go do them. <clears throat> I don't wanna check every little area. There we go. Got some cotton. It's always nice to have some cotton. See if there's anything back here. You never know what could be hiding anywhere. Hey, it's some pots. It's fucking. They're the only thing we know how to do when it comes to pots. And let's check inside here. Hopefully a cutscene doesn't happen. So I'd like to take care of these quests first. Rio is our hero, his life fleeting but worthy. Give us... Okay. Nothing really much in here. Who's this? My name is Miko, leader of the town's people, maiden of the shrine. Our home. Okay. Well, you you be the best maiden you can be. We're gonna run down and uh, finish checking out the area. Pretty damn big place. Not gonna lie. And we'll go pick up this quest over here. Let's see what's behind this first. Aha! What? <clears throat> uh, yeah. That shit. I don't exactly know what it's used for yet, but we'll figure- Oh, God, Cutsy. Uh -oh. How dare you! Oh! Uh-oh. 
Oh! That's no way to treat a lady. Didn't your mother teach you any manners? Your words greet my ears. A good child should be silent and stay out of bars. I told you I need to speak to the owner. It's important. He might know where my little sister is. A child in a bar is like a fish in a tree. You must search elsewhere. Oh, fine. If you're going to be a complete pighead about it, I'll go and ask the guards by the gate instead. Okay. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Hmm? Ooh. What do we have here? Well, are you going to tell me your name or not? No, I'd rather not speak to children. Fine. You won't get my ass hmm. in trouble. Could be worse, I suppose. Bitch! Jay's a fine name. Listen, you and I need to talk. Oh, fuck. Once again, I forgot the fucking left analog stick. For some reason like controls this. the it's damn It's funny text. how things work out. Why is she talking like she fucking knows me? I need to go in here. Damn it, I think I'm of age. I went and looked at a view, so... They said I'm an adult after. Nothing worthwhile. I'm guessing dude is outside. Yeah, there he is. Ooh, it's by a box. Let me steal your shit first. Thank you. Some gold will always help. Wedding beggars. My son is the tie of the knot, but he needs a ring. I have the gold ore, but sadly not the talent to craft a gold link. ring. But could it be true? Could you have a fun-sized forge and know how it works? Please, forge a gold ring. Alright. Go away. 24 carats of class. Alright, look. Look, go away. Shut up. I'm fucking do your ring. You're not important to the start. You fuck off. Fun-sized forge. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Jay's extensive experience on his quests have granted him new crafting capabilities. Jay's maximum focus increases by one! Joy. Is it gold or ring? Okay. God oh, damn it! I wanted to use that gold for something else, bitch. Let's see. Can't do it. All right. There we go. That should be good enough. Perfection. Or just a gold ring. Alright. At least I got two perfectionist pearls out of it. Do you have the ring? Yeah. Jay hands it over. A wonder. A joy. <clears throat> that bitch is going to put it on and not know the defense she has. I don't use that, but, you know. Okay. Oh, pots. Fuck your pots. At least I got two things out of that. So that that's cool. Oh. More pots. And I got some gold. Who was stashing a gold behind a bar in a pot? Who the fuck knows? But I broke it. So they could kiss my ass. Let's see what armors they have. <laughs> Huh. 
Ooh, Brian the Shield. Feathered Cat, Chain Man. Um, it's not all that much more. Honestly. I can still do with what I have. No! I won't buy nothing! Not yet. Cast Iron Claymore. Deadly Little Dagger. See that? That would be good. Let's see if we have anything to sell. Sell the gold chain. Sell the leather shield. We're not using that anymore. Sell the leather armor. The rest is medical herbs. Let's see. Yeah, we can sell that. And the leather hat. What do we got in here, though? That we might be able to sell. Let's see. The currency of a fallen kingdom, no longer legal tender, but can be sold for a few co Okay. Why the fuck not, eh? Yeah, I think that's all we could sell. <clears throat> this will get that seems pretty fucking strong and we could sell the divine dagger but everything else except for this claymore can uh can stay can fuck off honestly This, yeah, sure, we'll sell it. We don't need it anymore. So, we are pretty good to go. Right, so let me give it a look see, because, yeah. Run up here. Oh, God. I want to see the kitty! Aww. We don't pet it, but hey. That's okay. Let me see. Why are there two different... Wait, stop! What? A visitor comes. Passing cold, a drifter. Are you here to pay? Sure. Don't put me. Okay. Why the fuck not? We're here to look through shit, and apparently there's nothing here. Finally. <clears throat> I was wondering where you'd got to. Hey, look. come join me. Just trying to do quests and shit, okay? And look around. We've got the place to ourselves, so we may as well enjoy it. We've earned a little break, wouldn't you say? A little bit. Can't take it easy for too long, though. Sooner or later, those creeps are going to catch up with us. They don't even so, know where the fuck we you've are. you've been scoping out the town, huh? See anything interesting? A uh, little girl. Ah, her? Yeah, she was sniffing around here, too. She's way too young to be hanging around in bars, though. No wonder they kicked her out. I don't envy her, having a kid sister to run around after. They have a habit of causing headaches. A little bit. <laughs> Where are you? What? Uh, like that? Did you just say something? Do I sound like a fucking two-year-old? Where are you? Where did you go? Uh, um... What the fuck? Huh? 
Is that a k k? No, no. <laughs> I can't find you anywhere. Huh. You scared us there for a second. What are you doing in here? I was waiting in the end. Uh -huh. you, you said you were g going to take, take a bath, but, but you never came back. <laughs> Where did you go? Why, why did you... Yeah, yeah. Sounds like she's lost someone. A little bit. Wait. This must be the girl whose big sister's looking for her. What? Well Xion, thank you so much for that host, sweetheart. Why don't we see what we can do to help? How you doing, Xion? How about you dry your eyes and tell us your name, kid? Uh, uh, I'm Connie. Connie? Nice to meet you, Connie. Why don't you come with us, and we'll help you find whoever it is you're looking for. Thank you. Aww. Monster Hunter stories. How are you getting along with that? Now, is it set up like a normal, like, role-playing game? I never played one of the, uh, one of those. From what I understand, it's supposed to be really good. A vial of holy water in a bathhouse. That's fun. And why were you so... You have quite a nerve. You are as out of place here as cats in the sea. So it is so... Like, is it like turn-based battles, like old Final Fantasy games? Or, you know, the game I'm playing right now? Hopefully I can get my normal clothes back. Ready, please? Eek, intruder, man, a bold, ugly cuckoo stands in the nest of doves. Does the sun enter the moon? The sun, what? What? Award for exploring the great unknown. Wait, where are my clothes? Um, can I? Can I have can, can I have my clothes back? I've never really played the first one before, but I got this one because I wanted to see why everyone was playing it so much and it's actually a lot of fun. The story is actually in interesting. Is it like Pokemon? You got to collect monsters? I want my damn clothes. How do I get my clothes? change outfits right now do I have to what the fuck I don't want to I, I don't want to dress to, oh I don't want to dress like this Fine. Fucking leave. I, yes. Do I get my clothes back? You do collect monsters. Oh, that's awesome. Yo, I would be so down for fucking a monster hunter game like that. Uh, which way do I go? Okay.
Uh, okay, I want to go out here first. Fuck it, we'll bring the kid with me. And, uh... We'll, uh, we'll search for metal ore. Or iron ore, or whatever. It would have to be the glowing spots. They said there's an abundance of them in the mountains. Kind of like that over there. Chunk of iron ore, chunk of iron ore. Chunk. Okay, maybe. Maybe that was enough? Let's get back in town, and then I'll read what you said, Shion. Hopefully this is enough iron to uh, be good for that. And you can get shiny ones from rare monster dens as well. I've actually been having a lot more fun with this than I have with Rise lately. It's really nice because it's something new, but also kind of the same. Pretty much taking Monster Hunter and giving it a decent story. That's pretty cool. Hello, Gamer Extreme. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? The multiplayer is really fun, too, and it's not super complicated, either. I'd hope not. It's, it's just a normal RPG. What do you do with the multiplayer? Yes. If we had enough ore. I wish to test you. You passed. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't even part of the good story. So, go away. Fitty fitty. I mean, at least it's not zero. <laughs> uh, so what brings you over to the stream, buddy? Found a few lumps. Yeah, good. Done. Now we can go talk to the little shithead in the red hood. Well, hat. And clothing. Who's <laughs> pestering... Fucking minor. Now nope. listen, you, you listen I to me, you a little girl. Question. I'm have telling you, you I haven't seen your sister. <gasps> well, well, what do you know? Looks like she's picking fights with grown ups again. There's co op battles and verse battles, and apparently there's tournament. Oh! Oh, so it is like Pokemon. You could, you train up your monsters and you go in. That's kind of cool. Yo, a Pokemon Monster Hunter doesn't sound like a bad idea. Mind you, I'd rather like a Pokemon type Final Fantasy game. Not that weird shit with the whole stacking on the heads and fucking whatnot. That game was fucking retarded. <gasps> Shouldn't say that word, but it was, damn it. Hmm. I wish they told me they only let complete pigheads live in this stupid town before I bothered coming here. I ha I've played the original Nino Kuni. I have not played two yet. And Dragon Quest XI, which is what I'm playing now, I've actually owned this game for a couple of years. And I'm just getting to it now. So I, I have like a massive backlog because I'm a fucking nerd and I buy everything when I can. And I just never play anything. Unless it's Final Fantasy. Because, yeah. Or Apex. Play a lot of Apex, which surprises me. Oh, it's you! Hey, kid. Good news. We found your sister. Why so shy? Aren't you pleased to see your big sis? Oh, no. Uh, um... Um, uh, I, uh, um, uh, she's... Huh? I don't know why you're looking so pleased with yourself. That's not my sister. I've that... never seen this girl before in my life. Yep, there's a... You have a huge backlog? Yeah, dude. I still gotta get to, um to so many other games. I, uh, on my Switch, I still have, um, Bravely Default 2. I gotta get through, which I think I might be streaming after I'm done with this game. 
But this game is going to take me forever. So uh, it's going to be a while there. And I have so many other games on the PS5 and 4 or whatever that I have to get to. Not to mention, I have games all the way back to the PS3 I haven't touched yet. So, in terms of content for my stream, I'm good till the day I die. And that's not even with buying new shit. I'm pretty sure a lot more is gonna come. Yep, there's all different kinds of monsters you can get as well. And the types are separated into two types. There's monsters and monstrosities. Which are ones you can ride. No guy. Okay. That that sounds pretty cool. I have to check out that game. And put it aside, never play it until I'm good and ready four years from now. <laughs> huh? How are two kids uh, I missing? I don't have any brothers or sisters. I've lost my daddy. Well, maybe you could have said something, child. Gosh, where do I start? Did you not think of, I don't know, maybe asking her who she was looking for instead of jumping to idiotic conclusions? He tried helping. Listen, short stuff. I'm not gonna let a little brat like you speak to me like that. I don't think you have a choice, homie. <sighs> I hate to point this out, but you don't have time to be standing there getting your knickers in a twist. Oh. You've got a daddy to find. By the way, Xion. Um. And anybody else who might be interested in seeing me hurt myself tomorrow. <laughs> and Xion, I know you are because it'll give you the feeling of a whole bunch of payback. I will be doing the one chip challenge tomorrow. Um, probably around like 2 p.m. We will be playing Apex, and I'm gonna see if I could actually get through the five minute, um, the five minute afterburn as we play Apex Legends. It's gonna suck. I know this chip is hot as balls. And yeah. I, I'm already regretting it. <laughs> so, that, that's coming tomorrow. With all the games I have, I am back on Borderlands, the pre-sequel, leveling up everyone. Oh, uh, dude, I, I actually have that game, and uh, a lot of the others. Actually, I, don't, I think I own... I think I own all of the Borderlands, except for the first one on the PS4. Same, lol. I have a backlog of games too, but a lot of the ones that I were playing I put aside because either I picked up a different game or I got into info dump to the point where people told me so much stuff about the game that I felt like I had to step away from it for a while in order to make it feel fresh again. See, Shion, you do what I do. If people start to talk spoilers, you you just look at them and be like, Look, you fuck. Shut up. I don't want to know about it. I hate when stuff gets ruined for me. I, I do not like spoilers whatsoever. Listen, I want to talk to the owner of that bar, but I can't get in there on my own. Can I come with you? Yeah, sure. Let's Thanks. Take a child I'll never get in there otherwise. Why not? You're a lifesaver. I'm Veronica, by the way. Right, let's get going, shall we? Is she going to be a party member? One? Am I going to have a small child don't on my worry. party? You don't have to rely on these two dunderheads anymore. We'll find your daddy in no time. You'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I like how Connie is uh, taller than Veronica, but Veronica's Kids probably these days, older. huh? No respect for their elders. Well, looks like we don't have much choice. Let's hit the bar. I mean, we do have a choice. She's a child. We can tell her to fuck off. She ain't our responsibility. Oh, God damn it. Come on. Bringing two children to a damn bar. Yeah, because that's what we fucking want to do. My character was just put on a fucking list somewhere. <laughs> Welcome to our inn. 
a safe haven in life's storm. Come and make merry. Huh? <gasps> Warnings unheeded, the fish returns to the tree. What can deter her? Mm. Nah. She's with us. Do you have a problem with that? Understanding dawns. The fish has a chaperone. She is uh, welcome here. Stranger danger, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no one's sitting here, are they? Some... Wizard Service, or some if you shit. please. She's probably a magic user just because of the staff on her back. She, she's a character. She, she's gonna be a party member. <sighs> a fearsome young pup. Perhaps tea will soften her. A fine warming brew. That sounds lovely, but I don't have time for tea, I'm afraid. I'm looking for someone. Oh. I'll get straight to the point. There's a girl called Serena. Blonde hair, looks a lot like me. Have you seen her? Serena. Yes, now I recall. The young girl sought her sister, but left without joy. That'll be her. Did she say where she was going? Westward, she wandered. Sensing her sister, she said. Guided by voices. Oh, God. <gasps> Westward? Oh, the idiot must have gone to help me, and I was already back here! Oh. Well. I was kidnapped, you see. I was in the bathhouse when some monsters attacked me. They took me off to their lair. You see, I am with you. I have more online friends than I do in real life because I just think it's easier and I'm a, I'm an introvert anyway. I don't go outside. <laughs> I don't like outside because people are outside. But uh yeah. So so I'm a, I'm a, I'm 100% with you, right? I have I have my computer, I have my video games, my Switch, my uh, PS5. I'm happy with that. I, I, I do have a fiance. I, uh, <laughs> I'm surprised at that. But uh, other than that, yeah, um, I don't like mingling with people. People. People don't scare me, they annoy the shit out of me. Just like this guy who came in, Vic. Yeah, this motherfucker. Let me tell you. He's a son of a bitch. Right, Vic? <laughs> the only people he loves. <laughs> What's up, homie? I managed to escape. So I came back to find Serena... But it looks like now she's going to try and rescue me. Hey, man. Ah. Uh. Right, you lot. You're no ordinary <clears throat> travelers. Anyone with eyes can see that. I can't give you any advice on women. She, um, picked me. And I'm still trying to figure out how. Vic, we'll meet at some point, homie. Hopefully. But yeah, we've we've been friends for for about ten years. I, it feels like more. So I, I want to say a little over ten. But yeah, um, I have no clue on what I'm doing. My my fiance when we. Be before we first got together, she was hitting on my ass. I did not know a damn thing. Like, I know she's listening in. Hopefully, she'll chime in and say something about it. Confirming it. But, she, uh... 
She would hit on me and it'd go fucking whoosh right over my fucking head. Yeah, Shion, Shion, you're the one that fucking introduced us, which was great. So, yeah, I, I do appreciate that. But, uh, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And to this day, I'm not entirely sure how we got together, but we are. And, you know, I wouldn't change it for the world. The, the details are fuzzy and there were no um, drugs or alcohol involved. You're an idiot with that? It's just a whoosh. Yeah, yeah, dude. I, I am... I am hopeless when it comes to women. Just, just fucking hopeless. I don't have time to explain all the ins and outs of it right now, but I need you to help me go and find my sister. Are you in? How, how old are you? That, seriously, I... I want to know how old you are because... I might be older than you. <laughs> I know I'm older than anybody else in this chat because I, I know their ages. But yeah, I'm kind of an old fucking man. I don't have time to explain on the ins and outs of you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Are you leaving? I want to come with you. Ah, uh, we don't need you. Sorry, you're staying put. But don't worry. I think I know where your dad might be. We'll find him for you. So be a good little girl till we get back. We're gonna end up finding her father. You do realize you're a little girl too, right? You sure you're gonna be able to keep up? 52? Okay, maybe I'm not older than you. Alright, look, 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 you are welcome here because I have always been the oldest one in my group. <laughs> Do you know how many old man jokes that they toss at me? I'm only 38, okay? I just turned 38 in June. Believe me. I need an older friend. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Veronica, sage of Arborea and mighty magician, can keep up with riffraff like you any day. But no, not for nothing. I know, I know gaming is a thing nowadays, but... A 52-year-old man who's still on it like that? That is fucking awesome. That's like my... I'm not gonna say that's like my dad, because he would have had to have been like 14. But... My father, who is... 79 years old, 78 years old... Is still playing video games. And his favorite video game as of right now is... The God of War that came out last. Which I think is fucking awesome. So, gaming is for everyone. Dude, the 2600 was the best. That, that That's why I still have Pac-Man. I will always buy Pac-Man. I love Pac-Man. I kind of want a new Pitfall, but I love the original one. I'm more worried about you slowing me down, if I'm completely honest. But yeah, that's that's the first console I've right. ever gamed on. Let's head west, shall we? The monster's lair is a giant underground labyrinth out that way. Oh joy! I'm pretty sure we'll find Serena in there somewhere. The entrance is on the coast. But yeah, the the twenty six hundred. I know a exactly great who system. you are. You know, don't let me down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luminary this, luminary that. But yeah, Vic, um, I actually just started this game a couple of streams ago. Matter of fact, I think this is my third stream of uh, Dragon Quest. Which way is out? Uh, this way, this way, this way, this way. I always lose my fucking bearings. 
and here we go. Just the fact that you could turn this game into a uh, full on um, a 2D, like old school 2D RPG is fucking great. Complete with like the random battles and everything. It's part of the reason why I started playing this. Oh shit, that thing's glowing again. SNES, my first at age five. You're still a young buck, Vic. Oh, okay. Let's get through all this riffraff. And get down into this cave and see what we got to fucking do. Hey, 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 hey. Stop that. Whoa, what the fuck are you? I wanna hit you in the face! <laughs> They're fighting two nutsacks! The hell? Oh god! I think we were all a lot better when we first started playing games, man. Yeah, Persona 5 is awesome. It, okay, I... <laughs> Nut sacks. <laughs> Go for groceries, my dude here. Oh, shit. Thank you for that follow, man. And... Hopefully you find the freshest of groceries. Enjoy your stay. Thank you so much, man. And thank you for hanging. Alright. There's a campsite. I could go ahead and save. I also... Actually, before I save... I have to set up... Party... Oh, All right, man. Take it easy and be safe out there. Yeah, dude, I remember that shit. Oh, she's not part of the party yet. Okay. Let me go ahead and save. But yeah, no, the Persona had some fucking weird ass, uh, weird ass enemy designs. Like always. Oh, that's right, you can't until you, uh, until you figure shit out, right? I don't know who the fuck this guy is, but he keeps following me. It's the roving emporium guy. I honestly think we should go ahead and get a couple of these. There we go. A little extra defense doesn't hurt. Dressed up and continue on. But yeah, man. Hopefully you get, uh, you figure out everything soon. Wait, wait. Okay. Uh, nut sacks. Yep. Wait. No, I'm going the wrong way. Ah, 
have to go past the campfire to get to the fucking lair. Oh! Oh, glowy ghost again! And of course, I can't jump or climb, which is fucking stupid. Oh! That was a fucking locked door. I don't know how to get into those. I wish I did. And uh, we're in the labyrinth. The cryptic crypt. That's cool. Oh, there's a... There's a church down here? Why? Chunk of iron ore. Oh, look at those guys. I so don't trust that chest at all. I do not. Well. Nuts axe. Okay. Where the fuck did it bring me, though? I should have went around. That thing was trying to attack me. Door is locked tight. Take it, we're gonna have to find a key. Nope. But there is a ladder. Come on. I hate the fact that you actually gotta confirm climbing. Like, just, just press up against it. Go. Jeez. So, as we know, the other way is fucked. <laughs> Not sack. Um... I'm hoping no more of that shit happens because that would be bullshit. I'm guessing I touched this and I'm gonna see some shit. Oh, well, here we go. Like space balls, why do we always have to prepare? Just go, right? forgot. There's a trap up ahead. I'd forget my shadow if it wasn't sewn on. I can't go falling into my own trap now, can I? What would the others say? Right, I'd better go the long way round. Oh, uh, what? Climb down, <laughs> climb the damn ladder, right? Well, which is the long way around? Motherfucker! Oh god. A lot of things down here. Hey, more gold. Ah, fuck you, zombie. Judge about these footprints, the monsters have climbed. Oh, there we go. Oh, you bitch. Let's go. Uh we'll kill the walking corpse first. Like a soul. So what you get for not being prepared, you little bitch. Oh, Jesus. Uh. 
Yo, she's a little. She, she, she's she's kind of fierce. Peasy. Chilly weekend plans? Well then. Come here. I need to ride you. Let's see. Um. Sure. I bet. There we go. You motherfuckers. Now die. Way to almost wake him up. Another you know, you one can bites around the dust. It. I know you can, but it does absolutely nothing. So I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. And I'm gonna ride my horny friend up these walls. Woohoo! Alright. Uh. I don't know which way to go. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna fall in every fucking hole. I know it. I'm gonna fall in every damn hole. Yeah, like if the running around, you were able to actually do shit, then I could, then I could understand it being worse. Come on, how many fucking holes are there? I, now I can see it being worth it, but. It's just not. Like I said, I'm gonna fall in every fucking hole. This is annoying. Do, do not fall in the fucking hole. Thank you. Oh, I got a mini metal. Nice. Okay, there's no hole. No fucking hole. Can I go in here? God. That's one heck of a fountain to be hidden away down here. Wait, over there. Oh no. Serena, wake up. It's me, Veronica. Hmm? That's your sister? That's Serena! A sister. We said we'd always be there for each other, didn't we? Well, I'm here for you now. So pull yourself together! Oh, I'm ever so sorry. It's just I... Well, I was so awfully tired after all that searching that I needed a nap and... I so say you nap in a dungeon full of monsters. That's smart. Veronica! It, is that really you? What in the world has happened to you? Who... But... How did you know it was me? 
We've been sisters a long time, you know. It would take a lot more than a new look to fool me. <laughs> oh, yes, very funny. What were you doing lying on the ground like that? I... I thought you were... Well, that you were... You know... <laughs> yeah. Super safe. Sorry to interrupt oh, the reunion, safe, she, uh... but didn't you tell us Serena was your kid sister? <laughs> well, if you want to get technical about it, actually we're twins. But we don't look the same age anymore because, well, it's all a bit complicated. You done did something stupid with magic. I told you I was taken off by monsters, didn't I? They've been kidnapping people so they can steal their magical powers. Well, I wasn't going to let them have mine without putting up a fight. But the more I resisted, the younger I got. I don't quite understand it, but instead of draining my magic, they drain my... age. <sighs> what I'm basically saying is that I'm not a child. So stop treating me like one! Okay. okay, we get it, we get it. You're not a kid. But you still look like one. Don't you want to do something about it? <laughs> of course I do. Why do you think I brought you here? I want you to help me clobber those stupid monsters and see if we can fix this. You will help us, won't you? I promise to do my bit as well. Your I have some batter. really rather wonderful healing spells, you know. Yay! I need a healer. I like the fact that I'm still on the thing. Oh! Oh, I could save! No more falling through holes! Yay! Might as well keep fucking riding it. Touch the root. For the password. Like a fucking magical security system. Unshell pass without the secret word. Can we heard on the other side of the door. Jay gingerly pushes it open. Gingerly, they said. Oh fuck. Are you potty? You come here and tell Jarvis that you let that lovely, juicy specimen escape, and you think an apology's gonna cut it? Ooh, oh, that's this not good. Jars. Do you crackpots think sorcerer like Veronica come along often? Yes. Do you have any idea what we'll have to do to nab a specimen like that again? <laughs> You knew I wanted to drain all her magic so I could earn the Lord of Shadow's respect when he came back. All my plans shattered. The Lord of Shadows? That's them. They're the monsters who jumped me in the bathhouse and brought me here. See that jar by the big fat one? That's what he was sucking all my magic powers into. Well then, then I guess we'd better figure out how to get them back. The graphics is... Oh, the graphics are awesome, dude. The game is gorgeous. 
Veronica. Huh? Ah! Huh? Oh, Smashy. I do love guests. Huh? <laughs> Especially when they bring me presents. If it isn't the one that got away. Oh, we're gonna now, kill your ass this just time. Just sit tight while we suck every ounce of magic that out of you. That sounds dirty. Boys, this lot have earned a VIP treatment. Get cracking. <sighs> Looks like we'll be fighting our way out of this one, whether we like it or not. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Nah. I, I fucking love the noises. It, it it's awesome. You bitch! Later, Vic. Thank you for stopping in, homie. Don't worry. I'm here to help. Thank you. Now heal Eric, please. <laughs> the, the, the fucking voices. The noises these ghosts make are fucking awesome. Oh. They need to die. Look out below! Oh! <laughs> the fucking door. Cold enough for ya! Alright, baby! I'm down. Here you are! Thank you for that sub, hun. Here. Ooh. Fuck, bitch, I just healed that shit. Thanks. There we 
go. Yeah. Here. <clears throat> Funny uh, thing is, is I'm gonna be doing the chip tomorrow, uh, live on stream during Apex. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that around like 2 p.m. I'm gonna stream that. I'll be there. <laughs> nice. I got it. I got it ready to go right here. So, it seems like everybody's looking forward to it. You want some? Oh. Uh. Free. Oh, here we go. Ta-da! Yep. <sighs> she she actually is doing a lot better than uh she was the last time you talked to her. She, uh, Libby just actually got, uh, retested and she is negative for it now. So, we're, we're kind of happy about that. Sleeper oh. hit! Oh. Here. Thank you for, uh, healing that. I feel smashing. Oh, they can do that shit too. Yes. Let's fuck this guy up. Let's do this. What a Hell yeah. Boss defeated. Jarvis and friends are defeated. Each party member receives 670 experience points. You back. Nope. No, no, no. We will not <sighs> use that shit. I'll never be the Lord of Shadow right hand man if I can't even beat the likes of you lot. Ugh. All my dreams. Shattered. Fuck this guy. Who is this Lord of Shadows you keep mentioning anyway? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough when everything finally the frog goes. Is me. Uh -huh. to pot. Ho ho hopefully we'll see me in pain enough, tomorrow huh? help you get in a better mood than the frog. Ha! <laughs> right. Time to get my magic back. Let's do it. Huh? Hope this works. Oh. Is she actually going to grow or? <gasps> nope. But, but you look just the same. We're all our efforts for nothing. <laughs> oh, dearie. No need to worry on that front. I can feel the old magic zinging from the ends of my pigtails right down to the tips of my toes. Okay, then. But then why do you still look like a little girl? Oh. I'm not really sure. I suppose whatever made me younger can't be fixed just by getting my powers back. But it could be worse. 
I mean, you know what they say. You're only young. Twice. Nah. Trust you to see the funny side. Well, I suppose I'd better get used to having a twin sister half my size. By the way, you have noticed who we're traveling with, haven't you? A little bit. Of course I have. And so have you, it seems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh... Bold luminary, Yggdrasil's chosen. Long have we waited to greet you. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Uh, there are those who would accuse you of bringing disaster on our world. Please, you must rest assured that they are wrong. You are a hero. The light in your eyes, the light told of in the legends of Arborea, it proves that beyond a doubt. <laughs> I knew it was you the moment I saw you. So now you have magical twins swearing to serve and protect you? I guess you really are the Luminary, huh? Not that I ever doubted it, of course. There's plenty more we need to talk about, but we have to take care of something first. I wasn't the only one they were keeping prisoner, you know. Now, if I remember rightly, there should be a door around here somewhere. Ah, uh, we're gonna release everybody. Awarded for acquiring a total of at least 5,000 gold coins. Awarded for being recognized as a luminary by the two twins from Agoria entrusted by ensuring your safety. Yay! Let me see what I could find around before we go touch the door. And it seems like nothing. Still can't jump on shit. Oh, yeah, I'm finally using the, the ring light I've had for, like, ever. <clears throat> it, it's just a tiny thing. Um, it came with my, uh, my tripod, so... Figure, why the fuck not? Instead of having the overhead light on all the damn time. So, thank you! Mm. Gosh. God damn it. Hey, who's there? Don't worry, you're safe now. We took care of that potty old fathead and his cronies. Thanks. I owe you one. I was starting to worry they were going to get sick of feeding me and decide to eat me instead. Oh, God. You were starting to worry? And what about your poor little daughter all on her own, hmm? How do you think she's been feeling? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't think. Wait. You know Connie? We do. And she's fine, thanks for asking. The owner of the bar back in town is looking after her. He's a mature, responsible adult, you see. He was kidnapped, you little fuck. Huh. Listen, I appreciate your help, really, I do. I'm Noah, by the way. If there's anything I can do to repay you, just say the word. Noah, huh? Where have I heard that name before? Hmm. Oh, look, I've taken up enough of your time. I should, uh, get back and see how uh, Connie's doing. <laughs> Thanks a million. Well, he certainly left in rather a hurry. You can say that again. Very fishy. Well, never mind. We should head back too. We deserve a rest. Yay! Jane and companions make their way back out of the labyrinth and head back to Hado. Then morning comes. Is there anywhere I could save in Hotto? Because I would like to really save after all that bullshit.
Yeah, there's a church out there. Oh, oh, coins? No? Okay, can, can, I, can I steal things? I probably already did. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Finally awake. Comrades rose long ago. Morning first light. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, fuck you. I need to save. God damn it. Awake at last, huh? Don't worry, we all just woke up too. And now we're up. It's time to continue our little talk from before about Serena and I and how we're going to help you. Okay. Hmm. We have a legend in Arborea. It says that one day the Dark One will descend to extinguish the light, but that Yggdrasil's chosen, the Luminary, bearer of the Mark of Light, will rise to meet him. Yeah. I know it's hard to believe. I mean, look at you. But it's true. You're the reincarnation of the Luminary, the man who defeated the Dark One long ago. I still can't work out why they'd need to bring you back if the Dark One was defeated, to be honest. Because the Dark but One ours always is not comes a reason the why. back. Once we fulfill our sacred duty and get you to Yggdrasil, I'm sure all will be revealed. Yggdrasil, huh? Well, I for one want to know what the heck's going on. Let's mosey on over there. Have you ever tried thinking before opening your big mouth? In case you hadn't noticed, Yggdrasil is floating in the sky. Mosey, he says, honestly. <laughs> They say that the Luminary visited the World Tree before his battle with the Dark One. But alas, the legends do not tell us how. We what? probably gotta go not get even a dragon or special protectors somehow. of the magical ancient wonder truths, no? Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil. Wait, I think I might have an idea. Really? What is it? You know that guy we bust out of jail yesterday? I remembered where I know him from. He sells information to... Uh... And you think he might know how we can reach the World Tree? Wonderful! Well, what are we waiting for? To the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we waiting for? A fucking save! Hey, yo! Oh god. She just came running up on me. Jesus. Alright, people. We're gonna call it quits on the stream now. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Dixie, thank you for the sub. And, uh, yeah. We will continue this, um, probably not the next time I stream. Next time I stream doing the one chip challenge, which is gonna completely suck. That's tomorrow. I have yogurt ready. And all that nifty jazz, but, uh, we're gonna be calling it quit here, guys. I know it's a short stream, but it's actually starting to get really bad outside, and I don't want the stream to cut out because I lost power. So, uh, we will see y'all later. Bye-bye now.